do 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 Hole of Heroes, sub-level 7. Oh boy, more tile lands. Oh no! This might be the one I was worried about. Ah! Raging Boister! What the heck is this? This is kind of a lot to throw at me immediately. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. No, I heard a Pikmin get squished. How did the Pikmin not die? What? How did the Pikmin not die? I heard them get squished. Okay, this is not even the sub I was thinking of. I forgot we fought Raging Bloister again. Okay. Uh-oh. I hear Raging Bloister coming. Over here. The Pikmin survived the squ That's squishing supposed to instant kill them, though. I mean, I won't complain about it, but maybe it's, it was something like that that caused the, the game to think they were dead when they were still alive. Go. Oh. I do like this boss. It's very creative. Uh-oh. <laughs> you know, you can redeem the sound alert, too. It doesn't have to be somebody else. There we go. What the heck? Why did the why did the president run all the way over there? Uh oh. No. He's about to eat the Pikmin. I won't let that happen. Kill him, kill him, kill him. Come on. Come on! Throw stronger Pikmin! No! None of my strong Pikmin were getting thrown. He's like, let's throw all of the weakest Pikmin in order of weakest to strongest. This is great. Perfect idea. I definitely had purple Pikmin there. Doggone it. We were doing so well. That's a, that's floor is nuts. They just throw you down, surround you with ridiculously tough enemies. Which pick? Like Gaston. Which pigment? Purple pigment are by far the strongest. They have like double the attack power. All right, let's leave. The, let's let the pigment go over there. Whoa! That guy just shot a cannonball at a crazy speed. So purple pigment are by far the strongest. Red pigment are second. They have like I think 50% more power. But I mean compared to purples, they're they're nothing. <laughs> cool!
Cool, he should be inactive for the time being. Bonka, bonka, bonka! Alright, here we go. Raging Boister this way. I love how he's not even interested in eating the Pikmin, he's just like, ooh, glowy light, I like it. Okay, this is not working. It's taking me so much time to switch between my stupid Pikmin types. Okay, just taking the purples. He can be a confusing boss. He's an he's an interest he's an interesting one though. He is kind of boring to fight though. With the constant switching of captains. There we go. He's gone! He's history! I more just like the sound effect he makes when he's targeting onto Olimar. <laughs> No, any Pikmin can, it's just the purple Pikmin deal way more damage, so... You can take them out with other Pikmin types, it'll just take a lot longer. The joyless jewel. <laughs> I got no joy from having to reset that. So what's the purpose of all these gates? Oh, the gated community is where we like to be. Fat lot of nothing from the looks of it. Oh, more. Safe zone, act three. It's not really a safe zone. It's just like, it's just a like a dead end. It doesn't even stretch out far. Like anything could easily get in there. I guess maybe. It's harder for the remote-controlled boulders to get through? Maybe? Not really, though. Well, there we are. Raging Boister down. I think we may have to refight the Pregnant Empress again. Which will be... great. There's another sub-level that I am NOT looking forward to. Whole of Heroes sub-level 8. Okay, it's not this one. We are halfway there. Yes, a as a matter of fact, I am going to have to free fight the man at legs, and, uh, fun fact, man at legs the second time is a lot harder. Oh man, I could have had bold men in this dungeon. That's okay, bold men aren't very good. Oh, this is another. It's another safe floor, except there is a bold. Oh! Doodlebug! Yes! Oh yes, Doodlebug. Beautiful. Another four bitter sprays. Love that. Even if doodle bugs are a little dangerous, they oh, four bitter sprays each time you find one. It's really good. Oh yes. Lovely. Oh, and we have nectar too to get our few Pikmin who aren't flowers back up. That's beautiful. Drink up, me hearties, yo ho. Yeah, being a dog would not be much fun. I mean, as far as becoming an animal is concerned, being a dog, I guess, is probably a better fate than a lot of choices, but... 
rather be a human, you know? Hole of Heroes, sub-level 9. Oh! I never watched that show, but I, I, re I remember seeing commercials for it. Okay, the, mm -hmm, this is the sub-level that I was thinking about. Yep, we got a bunch of tiny bull orbs, and then we've got... Look, look at that! Orange bull orb, hairy bull orb, red bull orb, spotty bull bear, and fiery bull blacks. Ladies and gentlemen, this is one of the nasty... This is probably top two worst floors in the game. I guess it's kind of a cool idea where it's like, it's a floor where you have to fight the whole Bulb Borb family, but like... Why would I want to do that? Who? How did they wake up? How did all these guys wake up? You're not supposed to wake up unless my Pikmin attack you. Are those stupid little bull war bears? Fuck on it. Thankfully, they're going back to sleep. I hate this, though, because I'm pretty sure as soon as we start breaking down the gate, this guy is going to wake up. Sure enough. <laughs> I want my mommy! <laughs> I didn't wake them up! I only woke up the orange guy. Those guys are not my fault. It's that stupid bull bear and his little bull bears that are charging around. Alright. Well, we can take this one at a time. This guy is easy because he's on his own. <laughs> there is no mommy here. There is only Hole of Heroes. Okay. I think our next step is going to be taking down the bull bear, because the bull bear can leave that pit. So we're going to slowly move our way around, kill the dwarf oranges. Like so. Eventually the bull bear will walk up the slope. we got to make sure he doesn't wake up any of the others, though. Like so. Then we bitter him. I, that is not even close to what I said to do. But alright, we might as well take advantage of our Ultra Spicy. <laughs> Hot, this whomps! <laughs> Alright, uh... No! You fools! That was the thing I didn't want you to do! Harry Bulborb is not fun. He's not a playmate. Gotta get away from him. Stupid purples. Who's got the treasure? I bet you it's the stupid fiery bulwax that has it. The fiery bulwax is the worst. Although I have 21 bitter sprays, so we'll just use a bitter spray for it. These guys keep waking each other up. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Okay, this is a predicament. So. I gotta prioritize, so who do I get rid of next? Here's The problem is, they're all so close to each other that if I attack one, at least one of the others is gonna wake up. Fiery Bulwax is the worst, because you can only hit him with, fi with Fire Pikmin. You can't use Purple Pikmin. And of course he has the treasure. Okay. I think to start... I'll kill Dwarf Bull Bear.
Because the little guys can potentially snipe one of your guys while we're attacking one of the big ones. Yep, I have to kill the Fiery Bulblax to get the treasure. Now, here's the thing. The nice thing about the Fiery Bulblax and the Hairy Bulborb is that you have to physically attack them or, like, literally touch them in order for them to wake up. The Red Bulborb is a lot weaker, but he can wake up if you get too close. You don't have to necessarily just touch him. All right, so let's take out the little guys. I'm kind of surprised the Red Bulborb hasn't woken up from me punching all this stuff. All right. And in this case, I think we actually might be able... Of course, the reds were in the corner. All right, we take our reds. We might be able to kill Harry Bulborb. <laughs> he only just gave up the ghost. How about throwing them on his back? and destroying him. Beautiful. So now we can potentially take this knife, or whatever it is. Oh, it's not a knife. No, it... What the... I'm sorry, are you literally trying to kill yourselves? The slope to reach the entrance is this way. They are literally trying to move to the center of the room, then move back up. Wow. I've heard of stupid Pikmin before, but that, that might just take the cake. My understanding was that Harry Bul I could be wrong about this. I thought Harry Bulborb had, like, more HP, but was harder to wake up. All right, well... All right, if you this is how you're going to do it. So we'll take out Red Bulborb first, and then Harry Bulborb, and then the world will be saved. That did... I thought for sure that would kill him. Okay, get away, 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 get away. Nah, maybe not. They have the they seem to have the exact same amount of HP. I mean, the Harry Bulborb looks interesting. When I first saw him on my first time playing, I thought he was like an ice Bulborb, where I'm like, am I gonna freeze if I end up flying on his back? But no, he's just he's just here to look like a cow. <laughs> All right, well, didn't have to reset on that one. That's nice. That's one of the tougher sub-levels. <laughs> Harry Bulwarbs actually have slightly less help? <laughs> okay, so they're just the easiest of the fully grown Bulwarbs then. That's nice. He is fuzzy. I want to pet one. $100 for a can opener. The Dimensional Slicer. <laughs> Look at that! Wait, wait, wait. Hey, Dad. Cha! Get your eye out. Beautiful. I'm sure there are plush Bulborbs out there. I'm not sure if they were officially released as Nintendo merchandise or if you can only find them in Japan, but I bet you almost anything there's a plush Bulborb out there. Hole of Heroes, sub-level 10. You'll shoot your eye out, kid. Is this another rest floor? Okay, it's not a rest floor, because I see Emperor Bullblacks over there. But now with less bomb rocks and water. Uh, why is it I... It's... Oh, wait, shoot! That's an Emperor Bullblacks right here at the base! Um... Is there a treasure over here? No, there's not. Okay, we can ignore him. Okay, this one has... Oh, that's kind of mean. <laughs> if you try... If you try going up to the Emperor Bulbox and initiating the fight, they're gonna scare your Pikmin away. Pikmin Merch is very rare. Yeah, I believe it. 
All right. Let's try beating him the intended way. What the? You are not killing my Pikmin. Come on, beat him up more. More. Kill him faster! Before he devours all my Pikmin! Kill him! Kill him before he can swallow! Yes! Yes! <laughs> On this episode of I Shouldn't Be Alive. <laughs> oh my gosh, I cannot believe we didn't die. <laughs> this is where it really helps to have just 20 bitter sprays up your sleeve. Him, but we get two more spicy sprays. That's great. I have never had a playthrough of this game where I've had more bitter sprays than spicy sprays. I can't believe I didn't have to reset from that. The Pikmin were literally about to go de into his stomach and be digested, and then it's like, nope. The treasure gyro block. Cool. When in doubt, bitter sprays. It's very true. Bitter spray is ridiculously effective. Like, Bitter Spray kind of breaks the game a little bit, which is, I'm sure, why it did not return for Pikmin Free. I definitely would rather have enemies that is just like, you, no, that you need to actually have a proper strategy for fighting them, rather than just like, oh, they're this enemy, you just have to Bitter Spray them. Does not compute, must be Gyromite or Stack Up. I think they're the little gyro blocks that the Rob figurine uh, gets. I don't know, I'm not well versed on Nintendo Entertainment System. It's the return of the birth canal. Oh boy. Okay, this is the version of Everest Bullblax that will drop rocks from the ceiling when she hits. Um. How the butts did none of my Pikmin die from that? How the heck did none of my Pikmin die from that? I saw like 50 rocks drop on their heads. I have gotten stupendously lucky this stream. Nope, no, 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 get away, 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 get away. <laughs> oh my gosh, the captain's just getting wrecked. <laughs> Like I said, it's like you fight all the bosses again, but now in even tougher situations. And yeah, uh, ha having to deal with falling rocks definitely makes this boss a little tougher. Thankfully, the same strategy still applies. Have one captain punch the babies, and the other captain with the Pikmin to attack. <laughs> the uh, president is definitely not doing too hot on the HP. I used to think this was the most poorly designed boss in the game, but now I'm not actually so sure about that. Alright. Finish the job. <laughs> that is the most disgusting fight in the whole game. No question. Thank you, Mr. Captain. You have you have done your job.
Why am I punching babies? Uh, you know why I'm punching babies? Because if those babies get near a Pikmin, they eat them instantly. Like, there's no saving them from the mouth once they're in. It's just gum instant death. That's why it's really important to uh, kill the baby's favorite gyro block. Why is this one your favorite? Is Cover Boo your favorite? No way. Fun fact, even though my avatar is blue, blue is not my favorite color. My favorite color is green. Alright, saving. Off to the next floor. Sub-level 12, Hole of Heroes. We've been making great progress. We're finishing the game this stream. Oh no. Ooh, this might be the man at legs floor. We're getting to the rusty part, so... I have not uploaded all of the YouTube VODs for the last Pikmin stream. Because it happened on Sunday. They'll be coming eventually. Thanks for the generous donation. Oh, that's another way of doing it. Oh, that's that's what Miss Hero was talking about uh, in the last stream. You can have one of them just touch it and then switch to the other. Oh, that's nice. Oh, hey! Glint Beetle. Oh, hey, this is my real favorite gyro block. It's the green one. Man at legs is easy? Uh, I certainly don't think so. Man at legs is terrifying. It has a Gatling gun! 80 Pocos. The lost gyro block. Well, we found it! Oh, I will. I actually... I actually know Elementon Hero in real life. Which is cool. Alright, Hole of Heroes, sub-level 13. This is, okay, this is it. This is the man at legs. And it's surrounded by water. So, uh, we have to use blue Pikmin, who are the weakest type. Well, tied with the weakest type, with whites and yellows. Alright, well... Also, there aren't any... I stand corrected, there is. This, there are not nearly as many barriers to stand behind. There's this one that's not very high, but it'll I guess it'll do. No tripping allowed. Alright. Come on, get, get over here. Alright. Yeah, this is not fun. It's especially not fun, because I have a feeling his Gatling gun can fire over this barrier. But maybe not. I think he targets the captain primarily, so maybe it will uh, not work. Alright. You don't see any fear in this boss? Really. This boss is quite terrifying to me. So I've barely dealt any damage to him thus far. Okay, thankfully, yay. I fear no man, but that thing, it scares me. Yeah, that's... kind of the case. Oh no, shoot. Uh, uh, run. Nope. Yeah, if... <laughs> If he pulls out that Gatling gun and you're not, like, either behind the barrier or about to be behind the barrier, then, um, you're dead. Like, you have to be able to predict when he's gonna f pull that gun out. So I think I just need to be extremely patient in this fight, where, like, bring the blues up, attack him, then when he shakes them off, run back to the barrier. So, yeah. I have not played Team Fortress. I am familiar with it, though. He always does the gun after his shakes. Okay, that's kind of what I was wondering. Boo boo, boo boo boo. Oh. 
All the more. Run for it. Also, I want to point out the man at legs can move around. Like, he hasn't chosen to do that yet, but he can move. And if he does, well, good luck. This is also one of those dungeons where I debated bringing in more than 20 blues just because I knew this fight was coming. Yeah, so, okay, this fight won't be difficult, it's just going to be very time-consuming. Oh, yeah, no, this is not good. Get over here, you stupid blue Pikmin! Thankfully, he moved away and then moved right back. Bane, Bane. Spider gun, spider gun, does whatever a gun can do. Oh, that's not what I wanted! I did not want to whistle my captain and all the other Pikmin together. That's really bad, actually. No, don't come over here. No, you're not allowed to come over here. That's illegal. How come I dealt way more damage that time? <laughs> yeah, I have not figured out what determines when he walks or not. Oh, he's dead now. Alright. So that strategy works pretty well. It just takes some time. Another gyro block, huh? Cool, cool. Bring that back to base. Phew! I still can't believe the boss that's caused me the most resets is <laughs> the freaking burrowing snake rip. <laughs> I guess unless you count the water wraith on the floors where you don't actually fight him. Memorable gyro block. Alright. But still the thing that caused me the most resets was that stupid yellow wallywog. You can watch Pikmin on him while he's firing? Uh. How, though? Because if you do that, he's gonna blast your other Pikmin that are with you. Hole of Heroes, sub-level 14. Calm before the storm. Oh, did I say the calm before the storm? Actually, this is the storm, and then the next... Actually, the next floor is not that bad. The final floor of the Hole of Heroes is actually pretty easy. Oh, that's right! How could I forget about this floor? It's the Dweevil floor. Okay, here's the thing. The Dweevils actually won't do anything to hurt us all by themselves. So I'm not worried about them. So we're going to separate our Pikmin. Olmar, you've been kind of staying behind doing nothing lately, so... We're going to get just our yellows. Because for this uh, floor... Where is he? There he is! It's Beady Longlegs! It's been some time, hasn't it? For this, we just want to really make sure we don't get shaken off into the water. And, of course, we don't want to get stomped. That kind of goes without saying. Hey, BD on legs.
This this guy was the boss of the Citadel of Spiders, which is one of the uh, first uh, caves you go to. He's not too bad. This is one of those bosses where like the key is bringing only a small amount of Pikmin and to bring the yellows. The yellows may not be very powerful, but you can throw them onto his head really easily. And bada beam, bada boom. BD on legs is no more. And then he just turns to rust. Now I think this is where the the mini dweebles will be a little annoying because we're gonna try taking this back to base, but they're gonna be like, ooh free treasure and then pick it up themselves. Yeah. So un unless it's a yellow dweevil, I'm gonna f be throwing purples at him. Uh. Stop going in the water. Just drop the gyro block. <laughs> yeah, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna kill the dweevils, and then hopefully the dweevils will pick up their buddies' corpses. That would be for the best. Dweevils just really like picking up things, whether it's dead bodies or treasures. Nope. You have no HP left. You gotta put that down. No, leave it, leave it. <laughs> okay, that's fine. I'll let you I'll let you have the I'll let you have the fellow munged dweevil corpse. That's fine. <laughs> the hat fits the dweevil nicely, yes. Ooh, the red one! 80 Pocos. The fond gyro block. Leave it to I was telling the dweevil to leave it. To leave it to Beaver. Alright. Well, Hole of Heroes has gone better than I could have expected. Off to the last subfloor. Yeah, we're def we are definitely finishing the main game this stream. Not only that, I might even start challenge mode this stream, depending on how I'm feeling. Hole of Heroes, sub-level 15, here we go. No, I, I actually never did watch Leave it to Beaver. I'm just aware of that show's title. Alright, final floor, here we go. This is gonna be fun times. Put some dirt in your eye. <laughs> Honestly, despite this being arguably the toughest cave in the game, the boss is kind of a joke, if memory serves. Like, especially compared to the last several bosses we've faced, like, pfft, <laughs> this guy's laughable. As, again, as long as you're patient, super easy. But not even in the same way of the man at legs, where you at least need to have a strategy in place in order to have the patience feign work. Like, no, this this boss is just very, very straightforward. How many? I don't know. That I truly don't know because challenge mode. I think there's like 30 missions or so. Okay, so let's take out the jelly floats first. Cool. If we go into the center, then that's going to trigger the fight. So I'm going to avoid the center for as long as possible. There we go. I mean, that's generally how it's been. The easier bosses have had me reset. Like, I think I had to reset at least once, maybe twice, for the giant breadbug, who is objectively the easiest boss in the game. Whereas Segmented Cropster, who I think you could make a solid case for being the hardest boss in the game, I did one try. So, yeah, it's entirely possible. I just want to kill the jelly floats first, so that way they don't distract me from the boss. Come on.
Kill him, kill him, kill him! And this, I think, is another boss that I'm only going to take, I think, the purples for. I don't want a huge amount of bosses. A thousand, that's too much. Don't be silly! Alright. At the very least, I want to make sure my purples are all flowered up. Beautiful. Yep, that's how it's been. That's, you know why? Because I get cocky in the easier fights. So I'm going to try to be careful for this one. Alright. Okay, you know what? I don't trust this. Here we go! This is the boss of the whole of Heroes, the Raging Lone Legs. It's like BD Lone Legs, but he's easier to latch onto, has more HP, and then... His feet are bigger. And after he shakes you off, he'll start stomping around like crazy. He has larger feet as well. But he should still be a pretty simple fight. Especially since he has to move all four of his feet before he shakes you off. Just wait for him to stop stomping around like a fool. I think that'll kill him. Yep. Real wow. E even easier than I remember. And look who it is! Well, if it isn't my favorite character in Super Smash Bros. Well, maybe not my absolute favorite, but definitely top five favorites. Let's carry him back to the convoy. I have a special place for you. Yeah, that guy is a weenie. <laughs> Super easy. <laughs> Just don't bring a huge amount of Pikmin. It's Rob! Remembered old buddy. Aw, that's what Rob stands for. <laughs> Actually, it's robotic operating buddy, but aw. I love all the Rob references. I love Rob. Yep, that boss is actually even easier than I remember. Like, I f haven't played him again, I think he's easier than BD Long Legs. I actually think he's easier than BD Long Legs was. Because at least BD Long Legs is a little more unpredictable. And it's, he's harder to hit. <laughs> is Rob related to Rob64 from Smash? S Star Fox 64? I'm sure there's there was some intentional uh, similarities. How dare you! Rob is great. <laughs> All right, there we go. No, okay, no no fake deaths happened in that cave. I don't know why there were fake deaths that happened in the Cavern of Chaos. All right, just one more cave left.